a potential spot. The wind's coming straight at you, bouncing off of that tarp. So it'll be a chilly one. The other option is. this one <clears throat> just getting our fix right Scott's gone straight in with an eight percenter so what should I go for? We've got North Brewing Company 4.5 Mango and Guava Pale Ale. We've got Standard Faith Northern Monk 5.4 uh, Vault City Peach and Passion Fruit Bellini 6.6 .6. uh, North Brewing Company Invisible Cities and that's 6.7 uh, I'm going to go for it for Nah well, just, You can blow so you just carry a bit of plastic around when you get the can Yeah, you need them all nice and organised <laughs> <laughs> You'll be good if one's not It's already cracked actually, I've just noticed No! The storage box, I broke that last night uh, for my camping gear I was like trying to unlock it, like, no, oh, this is hard to unlock. I wonder, I wonder if you just rip it off. So I ripped it off and it just shattered. <laughs> shattered your spirit. Yeah, I did. So, and then my dad said, I told Charlie, went, oh, I've broke the camping box. She went, oh, shit. But that's why I took that gamble of buying this and a liner. Yeah. With this bag and the liner, it was only really good. So it was like, I could have got her. A down sleeping bag, but then I thought that's over kill for summer then. Yeah. And I needed a sleeping bag. What, how much was that um, bag liner thing? Uh, 30 quid. 30 quid? Yeah. <laughs> what make is it? Oh, yeah. I might have to get one of them actually. I thought it was like the second best rating one. Right. The, the first one, seat of summer. But that's 60 quid or something. Right. And it's got a really, it's got a better name. I'm surprised that that bag keeps you warm because it is quite looks thin, doesn't it? But it really thin, yeah. But it's got a comfort rating of minus one. Right. Like people always say you don't think you don't go on that. <coughs> yeah, the the max limit it won't actually yeah, go to that. What you should aim at. 
that one. Maybe I'll be on this. So it's just getting down to the maybe two degrees. Yeah. Then this thing gives you an eight degree. Alright. What makes bag? Sleeping bag? Yeah. Oh yeah. It's got a muffin tin though. Perfect tin bag. Yeah, it looks nice. Problem with down is though, you have to make sure it doesn't get wet. So, so today I'm not very organised. I haven't even brought my little tripod thing. So I'm having to like prop you up on stuff and no walk bys for you on way up. It's quite a slog up here actually. I must be a bit out of shape, but it's a pretty cool spot here. Definitely like to come back in summer months. It'd be ace. Uh, Today we're first time out in my new lowers. I'm not gonna comment on them boots just yet because I've not used them enough. Um, the Solomons that I had before these, I did a video showing that I'd bought them. Uh, I didn't really review them, but I said that they looked pretty decent. They're terrible, like they're comfortable and they're waterproof but they're so slippy, it's unbelievable. Like, they're proper dangerous, so I had to get rid of them because on wet rocks and that, I was just sliding about all over the place. So these lowers have got really decent tread on them. Uh, my first pair of proper leather boots, so I'm gonna have to look after them and make sure I clean them and treat them every time I get back from a trip. Uh, they should last me a fair few years though, they've got big rubber reinforcements on front and back and everything and yeah, but I'm not going to comment on them just yet. This should be good for a laugh. Scott's gonna cook his tea now after he's had all his beers. Not all of them. <laughs> Shh, if you write quiet, he might come out. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he's hot. A bit chilly, isn't it? Gonna be a chilly one tonight, I think. Mm. Glad I've got the Rabbit Scent 1100 with me. You are, mate. Just talking to viewers. <laughs> For this half-assed video. Got literally nothing to tell you apart from it's cold, keeps raining, it's pretty windy, and we're both loving it.
was absolutely bent. The winds were easy, 45, 50 miles an hour. And it chucked it down all night. And just some of the gusts of wind were just crazy. Um, they were blowing Illyberg all over the place. And uh, Scott were testing out his brand new tent. So it's definitely had a really good test. Uh, he was in the uh, Wild Country Helm 1 or Helm Compact 1 and it stood up to it really well. Really impressed actually that it stood up to them winds. Uh, yeah, bit of a half arse video is this one. Uh, I'm aware that the quality has not been up to scratch recently, but don't worry. I'm going to get back on it and start trying to make some quality videos again. Anyways, thanks for watching this absolute garbage. I know there's plenty of other people out there making the same sort of garbage, so... Definitely coming back here. Hopefully, it'll be better weather. Carted by drone all the way up here. Never got a chance to use it because of wind and that. Yeah. To be continued, definitely coming back. Thanks again for watching, please like and subscribe, see you next time. <laughs>